To follow along with this question, please refer to the Unit 2 Study Guide. This video will demonstrate the gross profit method for estimating inventory. You really have to understand two things in order to estimate inventory. First thing you need to understand is how inventory flows through the financial statements for a company. And basically, we always start with beginning inventory. And to that beginning inventory, we always add our net purchases. And remember that net purchases are made up of a few different items. We always start with the purchases that we made during the year. And then we might subtract any purchase discounts that we may get on our inventory. And we're going to have to add our freight. And we would add or deduct any purchase returns and allowances. When you add your beginning inventory and your net purchases together, you always get the amount of goods you have available for sale to your customers. And we're going to abbreviate that GAS or GAS, so goods available for sale. When you have goods available to sell to your customers, you either sell them, and when they're sold to customers, that becomes uh, our cost of goods sold, or we still have them left in, on hand at the end of the year, and that would be our ending inventory. So a quick demonstration of how this calculation works, let's just say that we have $3,000 left over at the end of last year, so that becomes our beginning inventory for this year. During the year, we purchased $30,000 worth of goods. So altogether, we have $33,000 available to sell to our customers. Now we either sell it, in which it becomes cost of goods sold, or it becomes ending inventory. If we do a physical inventory count and we count $4,000 worth of goods in our store, that means that $29,000 has to be sold to our customers because these two numbers right here have to also add up to $33,000. The other thing you have to understand for the gross profit method is the gross profit percentage. And gross profit is calculated by taking your sales and subtracting off your cost of goods sold to give us our gross profit. So if I tell you sales are $100,000 and we know that our cost of goods sold is $60,000, our gross profit is $40,000. We can turn those into percentages. Our gross profit percentage would be calculated by taking our gross profit and dividing it into our sales numbers. So that would be 40%. Cost of goods sold can be calculated a couple ways. Take the 60000 divide it into sales, which would be 60%. Or we know that sales are 100%, and if we have gross profit, then we know we can calculate our cost of goods sold. So if I tell you our gross profit is 35%, you can also use that to calculate your cost of goods sold percentage. And you do that by taking the sales, which is always 100%, and subtracting off our gross profit percentage of 35%, and that gives us our cost of goods sold percentage of 65%. Whenever you take that cost of goods sold percentage, basically what that means is that it means 65% of your sales would be the cost of the goods that you sell to your customers. So you can take that cost of goods sold percentage and turn any sales figure into cost of goods sold. Okay, so those are the two things you need to um, understand to do this problem. So what I'm going to do now is erase the numbers that I have on the board here, and then we're going to use the chart that we have to help us out with the question that's in the study guide. I'm going to put the calculation for sales back up here, just as a reminder that that's the other piece of information we need in order to figure out uh, or estimate our ending inventory. As we read the question, we're going to put the information on the chart. So on January 1st, the candy store had $450,000 of inventory at cost. So that's the company's beginning inventory. During the first quarter of the year, it purchased $1,590,000 of merchandise. So I'm going to put that number here. It returned $23,100 of merchandise. 
So I'm going to subtract that. And it paid freight charges of $37,600. So we're going to add our freight. And that can be done in any order. If we add those things together, that's going to give us our net purchases. So when we do that, we get $1,600,000. 4500 During the past several years, the store's gross profit on sales has averaged 30%. So we know the gross profit percentage is 30%. And it also says to assume that the store had $2 million of sales during the first quarter of the year. Okay, so that's the information that they give us to estimate our ending inventory. So remember, we're trying to get here. In order to get our inventory, we need two other pieces of information. We need our net purchases, which we have calculated by taking our purchases and our discounts and our freight and returns. So that's the $1,604,500. And we also need to, our cost of goods sold number. In order to get cost of goods sold, we have to take our gross profit percentage and turn it into a cost of goods sold percentage. And we know that if we take 100% and subtract off the gross profit percentage, we're going to get our, our cost of goods sold percentage of 70%. Then we're going to take our cost of goods sold percentage and multiply it by our sales to turn our sales into cost of goods sold. So that is our cost of goods sold. Now we have all of the information we need to calculate our ending inventory. The easiest way to do this is to calculate goods available for sale first. So we're going to take our beginning inventory and add our net purchases together, and we get our goods available for sale, $2,054,500. And now we know that ending inventory and cost of goods sold also have to equal that amount. We know what cost of goods sold is, so we're going to subtract that from our goods available for sale. So goods available for sale, $2,054,500. And then we're going to subtract our cost of goods sold. And that means our ending inventory is $654,500. So that would be our estimate of our ending inventory.